We got a package! So today I'm going to show you how to get some free Pokemon cards using your unwanted code cards. Little trick I found recently, so let me show you what we do. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. I've been trying really hard to not look at my order. That way I kind of forgot what cards I get and it's a little bit of a surprise. But I think I still look like every day because I was too excited to wait. So I know what I'm getting, but you don't, so you'll be surprised. And we can all be excited. Ooh, 10% off, don't look at my code. Okay, I've never ordered from this place before, so I'm really curious how they've packaged things and how this, oh, okay, well, this is packaged well, I can't open it. Ready for this? First one, we got Mew, let me get the autofocus on better. Okay, there we go, much better. Here, let me whisper for you guys for this one. So we've got Mew. Ooh. Okay, that's weird. Anyways, we got Raichu. Glad to add him to the collection as well. So Mew from Darkness Ablaze. Obby, Raichu, Shining Legends. Ooh, we got this Venusaur and Snivy tag team. That one's cool. Oh. And a little Venusaur from Champion's Path. Metagross. The Celebi. Okay, but how cool would it be if they just wanted to surprise me with like a shiny Charizard? Ooh yeah, Gardevoir VMAX. That one's cool. Champion's Path as well. This Ho-Oh, I was excited about this one. Thought it was pretty sick. And Houndoom, also from... Ooh, Champion's Path, Darkness of Blaze, one of those two. So embarrassing. Okay. Hey, this little Mega Altaria. Um, Fates Collide, that's what it is. Yes, Fates Collide. I mean, let's be real. Look at all these beautiful, beautiful cards. All for the price of some unwanted code cards. So on their website, you can also choose between if you want the card to come in mint condition or just like a lightly played. Lightly played is like 30 cents less. So for example, this Venusaur cost me $3 lightly played version is like 270 so that's what I got I got lightly played for all of these because I don't plan on getting them graded but I'm very happy with the condition they look really good and I saved 30 cents you know when you get a bunch of cards it's like at the end you can get a free card basically when you save money that way economics kids okay so first things first oh here's my wife and doggo go to Pokey Lector. here's this app I use to Scan all of your code cards to make things a little easier. Go here, code scanner. Okay, so from here you just click on this camera and then you can put each of these out. It quickly just scans each of them for you. Like so. And then when you're done, it'll give you this list right here that you can go select all of them, email it, and you just email it to yourself and say, here's your code cards. So that way, once you have all those in this email right here, you can go to the next step. Okay, so you just go to your browser then and you go to Card Cavern, cardcaverntradingcards.com. You can then go to their buy list, Pokemon trading code cards, and they're currently closed right now, maybe because we sold them so many good code cards. But keep an eye on this because it's a cool site. But basically what you do is you'd be on this page, you'd submit it, they give you an order number. And then with that order number, you can go to their selling policies and I'll walk you through all the steps of how to sell everything through. So basically what we just did is went and got the Pokelector app like they recommend, just makes it easier. Scan all your codes, you email them to yourself. Once you have all those codes in an email, then you can come to this website, get your order number, and then you just type that order number in with your name and the subject line and then you just email all your codes directly to them. So then you can come to their Pokemon section. I like going to their singles just to buy some cool cards that I want to add to my collection. The nice thing is too is because obviously you create an account through them and then you can also sell your cards for cash or you can sell them for store credit and for store credit you get like twice as much value for it which is way worth it because we're not here to make money we just want more Pokemon cards. So. I like to come down here, go to like ultra rares or something, and then I was just going through and been like, ooh, get this Alakazam. It's 
the nine tails I got. Just scroll through, they have a lot of good stuff. Seems like they update pretty frequently as well, so. And so for example, let's say you wanna get this Dreadnought V full art, because you saw that I have it. You can come here, see Near Mint or Lightly Played, get it for a little bit cheaper just to pinch those pennies if you feel so inclined. You should try it out. Don't buy all their cards, because I still wanna buy some too. Ooh, they got a Pikachu VMAX. I still need this Chunky Chew. Thanks for watching! Hopefully this was helpful to get some ideas how to use these code cards and fill this binder up with some sexy new cards. Okay, I filmed this outro like four times because cars keep driving by, so you know, problems of living in New York City. But if this is helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up, because that's cool, and subscribe if you're not already. Also, if you have any other ideas for how to use those code cards that we should know about, let us know! Okay, thanks for watching. Peace.